Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and a Robbinsdale woman's story shows the difficulties of being involved in an abusive relationship. She is now sharing her story of struggle and survival to help others. Here's reporter Sonia Goins. At one point, Sandra Veli's life was as choppy as the waters of Crystal Lake. And by all accounts, she shouldn't even be here to tell her story. It hit me like I was a man. In 1993, she married a man who she thought was going to love and protect her. He charmed me. We left Minnesota, went to Las Vegas. They eventually had a child together, but the relationship was rocky. He became very abusive and he was not um, faithful. So I would confront the situation and it was my way or the highway. She tried to leave several times, but he continued to beat her. A lot of punching. He had threatened my family that he was going to harm them if I didn't come back. Neighbors called police and Sandra's abusive husband ended up in jail, but Sandra felt guilty. She bailed him out as she left town. I finally was done. Like, I'm not going back. I, you can have everything. I don't want anything but my freedom. Although they separated, Sandra's husband wasn't out of her life. Working through a mediator, she agreed to a custody arrangement with the couple's son. We had an agreement that he would keep him a certain time and I would keep him. But things turned south again. Then he starts looking through my house, ransacking everything. Sandra says he took guns that she had purchased for protection. I had a permit to carry. He pointed one of those weapons at her. Puts me on my knees in front of him, assassination style. Now, mind you, this is a double barrel shotgun that I loaded because I had it for protection. He hit her with the gun and then pulled the trigger. All bodily functions, everything went because I figured that was it. Luckily, the weapon jammed. He opened it to see if there were two shells still in there and he pulled the trigger again and it did the same thing. And at this point, he fell to his knees with me and started crying. Sandra consoled him. She did and said whatever it took to calm him down. I don't know if he's gonna come back I don't know if I'm gonna live another day. But she did survive. Her husband went to jail after Sandra pressed charges. He was sentenced to five years and five months. And Sandra spent the next years living in fear. I was walking on eggshells on a regular basis, always looking over my shoulder. It took some time, but Sandra finally realized her worth. I have a tattoo on my foot that says faith with each step. And that is a clear reminder to me to keep going forward. She became stronger on the outside too working out in the gym. I learned how to defend myself enough to where I'm still here. In 2006, she became a professional bodybuilder. I wanted to take control and I wanted to show that I could emerge from all of this. She vows never again to let anyone harm or take her peace. I find it very rewarding to help others find their strength. I don't know where things will go, but I know I have purpose. Sandra is now in a good place. She started her own personal training business to help others take control of their lives, especially those caught up in domestic abuse situations. She wants them to know that there is help available. Mike and Alex, there are several organizations in our area that are out there to help victims. We put all that information on our website.